Uh, well, welcome back. Uh, we are here for the the final final hour uh, ish yeah. of uh, Harvest Valley for tonight. Uh, we were just walking in on Doctor Donna doing some weird experiment things. Yeah, yeah. there's uh, some beakers and some vials and some chemicals going on. She's like, "Oh, Ashlyn, Esteban." How are you doing today? Oh, that's, I'm doing fairly well, but Esteban just can't keep can't stop sneezing. I thought it'd be oh, good no. for him to come see you. Yeah, I'm walking a lot today, but I'm I'm more tired than I usually am when I walk this much. Mm. And I just like collapse on the ground and like sit like maybe cross legged. Oh, don't sit! I can't. Here, get up on this, get up on this this table. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so she puts on the table, okay. and yeah, you know, she gets her. I mean, there's curiously high tech tools she uses because that's how they are in video games. Like every, everyone has a stethoscope. I'm pretty sure stethoscopes weren't invented until later, but uh, maybe. Whatever, you know, she she checks your heart and your breathing. And ah, uh, say ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Go on, say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> and um, says, oh, yeah, definitely. She's definitely sick. Happens uh, every year like clockwork around this time. Every of year. year, huh? Mm hmm. Well, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. And um, she's going to make a doctor's test. Um, let's see, what is that? Do do actually, I should have checked this before. Okay, um, huh, I don't think there is one for identifying diseases. Mm, I remember when I was playing a doctor character, there's like something. I mean, you can use apothecary to treat it, but you don't need a roll to identify it. Uh, okay. I see a nurse life path that has uh, field dressing, but that seems a little different. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's Noble Court. That might be why. Oh, okay. I mean, seems field, like field dressing thing. is a little different, too. Yeah. Yeah, see the anatomy of injuries chapter. Nah. Uh... Ba, ba, ba. I do kind of want a hospital warden. Here we go. Ops 2 oh. herbalism test to identify common ailments. Okay. Uh, uh, I just found the physician and the doctor life path. Um, okay. Here are some medicinal skills. Anatomy, apothecary, bloodletting, surgery, herbalism, um, and then it repeats. Yep, yep, that sounds right. I think herbalism is the right one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's abs too. Um, she's going to have like a five in it or something. Uh, she's going to take extra time. Let's you tell her to hurry up. I don't. And she also wants to know if there's anything else you're suffering from. So she's going to. Uh, so I, I show her my like little jar of cigarettes and there are like only two left and I'm like, watch him dance around. Yeah. She says, oh no, this is horrible. You've been cursed. The curse of the night wolf. <laughs> <laughs> like, a... like you've been cursed. Ashlyn looks up. Like, wait, what? Cursed? And then she's like, cursed of the night wolf. And then she's like, oh wait, oh wait. <laughs> See what I was thinking is like that's an odd thing to come out of an herbalism test. <laughs> it's just like herbalism comes out and it's like you have been cursed. <laughs> 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Says, oh, this is a, this is a terrible disease. This is great, great risk to any community that harbors people with this disease. Is this related to how I've been coughing more since I've been? No, usually this doesn't cause any kind of coughing or sneezing or headaches or anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. You have you have a a virus. I see. Hmm. But that's not important. <laughs> I have to have to treat you to to remove this curse. Hmm. What what can I do? What can I do? And she's like looking around the room. Hmm. Yes, I know what we can do. Uh, and she goes over by the stove, and there's like this concrete wall next to the fireplace, mm-hmm. uh, and four feet away from the from the fireplace, there is a cabinet, and in the stone, she opens it up, and she pulls out a jar, and it's cl- it's clear, and you can see inside there's a bunch of leeches. Mm-hmm. She says, "Okay, so here's the treatment. We uh, put the leeches on you, and they suck your blood. And after enough leeches, they'll have absorbed all of the curse from you." Okay. Okay. All right. So this is going to be expensive because I have to replace all my leeches after I do it. Expensive for me? Yeah. Mm. I'll help. I want to make sure you're all right, Esteban. Ashlyn, please call on me for anything. You know... And then he, like, covers his own mouth. He's getting a little teary-eyed, too. But, like... I hope I have enough to cover it. Um, because she just bought a lot of wine. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming this is going to be less expensive than that wine. Mm, how much are leeches? I mean, it's not going to be in the in the PDF. Are you kidding me? <laughs> how much are leeches? Just think about that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you think about like how expensive stuff is to buy, hold on. There's a. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just looking at the Go chart. The clock. Look at the clock. Um, cause there's like. What page was it? Um, mm. I thought it was here, but maybe I'm on the wrong. Hundreds. Anyway, um, the point is that it was yeah. Here it is. Um, it's something fairly common. So it's common, but it's not something that is normally sold. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So it's probably. I think it'd be like abs too, uh, because you gotta get them and get them alive. Uh, it's kind of like tricky to get them mm-hmm. without getting leeches on you yourself. Niche market, and it's winter, so I think it's also harder to get leeches. I mean, it might actually technically be ob three, yeah, which is tools for an academic or craftsman skill. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Unless it would be a medical skill. Uh, cause I, it I is a medical. I don't know. What, if it's medical, then that might even be Ob 4, which is, I don't want them to be that expensive. Cause, I think they're Ob 3. Okay. Um, it's, it's part of a medical kit. 
and it's hard to get. Okay, well, the problem is, is that I <laughs> I only have three days. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do it. Spend that fate. I mean, I yeah, I can spend the persona and have four dice, but the good news is this will be a challenging test for me <laughs> if I succeed. Yeah. Oh boy, let's uh, let's give it a try though. Mm. Wow! I did it! I can't nice. believe Actually, I did it. Consistently saving my ass. Uh, wow. Nice. Um, out of persona, but I'm okay with that. Uh, do I want to spend a fate on that just to roll it? I kind of do. Um, it was that okay. persona that saved you. I kind of do just to put some f some fate into, like, the idea of one day having ingratiated resources is so... <laughs> I'm so greedy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no. But it's, All right. it's, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she, uh, she'll put uh, Esther on the table and uh, start attaching leeches. Um... So this is going to take some time, and it's not going to be pleasant for you, Estevan. Um, on, on plus side, uh, Alicia's will also take away your your, your code. That's um, awesome. So let's uh, say we fast forward a week. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. A week's passed. Um, there's like a little bit thicker snow now. Um, Bastion Carmichael has been going around town um, talking about buying things. Um, he seems mostly interested in the vineyard. Um, let me just make a roll here to see. Um, what has there been any is. headway at all in convincing him to use the clock tower? Is what I'm well, curious about. I don't think anyone's been doing that. Sure thing. Um, um, so let's see here. Three versus, I think it's a, we're going to give Carmichael five for persuasion. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. So Carmichael looks like he's just gonna buy the family vineyard. Um, no. It's not like the plan is to tear down the family house. Uh, there was a wide, you know, there was actually space around the house where they are going to, um, you know, that they use to, you know, gather the berries and load them up and also like a barn that they stored all the stuff for the festival mm -hmm. and all that space together and plus a little bit of the vineyard is going to be gone mm. um their neighbors who are just a couple of farmers are going to let them um pay to, to build temporary housing on the part of their land that's close to the vineyard. And okay. in addition, he, yeah, I think that's enough for now. I think that's enough for now. Um, it sounds like it's not totally set in stone. Um, there's not a contract signed yet. But there's been a verbal agreement. There's been a verbal agreement and some money has changed hands. That sucks. Um, so Carmichael is, you know, he's around town and 
he seems to be still making plans. He hasn't made. He hasn't like said anything about his plans yet. Um, and the main reason because of that is because the main thing he's complaining about is that someone stole his watch. Um, and he's really upset about that. He's he says that this watch is worth more than the entire town. And so he is. He's a total jerk is what he is. He's giving the mayor trouble. And like, why don't you have any any town guards or any policemen in this town? Oh, this is this is horrible. I'm going to I'm going to send send for security force. And I'll have them find what happened to my watch. And the mayor's trying to like talk him down, but he seems pretty upset. Mm-hmm. And he's currently staying. Um, I think there's like a guest room in the. Uh, there's a, what's it called? That restaurant underneath the the the, the clock tower. Mhm. Mhm. What is that and- called? I forget what it's called. I have the name of the person who works in that restaurant, but not the name of the restaurant. Uh, what's the name of the person? Lars. He's the Lars. cook. Lars is the cook. He wears a hood, apparently. Mm. That's what my very, very extent- exhaustive notes say. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because he was uh, one of the people. Right. Right. I'm glad my notes help you remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I have I have my thought patterns, right? Um, yes, 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 yes. It is in Discord. I remember now. Because... Lucidia, right? Lucidia had the farm and it is there it is, the Weathercraft Diner. Aha. Okay. So yeah, he's staying in the Weathercraft Diner. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys want to do anything about that, but this is what has happened. Um, also, Mei Ling is uh, shoveling all the snow. This is what she does. She is the uh, winter uh, what's the right word? Like she she decorates in the winter as well. Like she's the winter landscaper. So she'll also like build snowmen and put up like she's put up all the red ribbons for the town and mm-hmm. made it like match like giant matchstick men at certain places. Mm-hmm. So the town's trying to look pretty festive. Um, nice. And the train is trying to bring in uh, some tourists, but it's just running one one car right now. Mm-hmm. And the train yard is pretty much abandoned. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. So how has that it, all of this information gotten to us? Have we heard it like through And how's the fish doing? Yeah, that too. So I'm gonna roll for test Uncle Bish. I have too many windows open. <laughs> Was that your consequence for failure? Yeah. <laughs> That's the consequence for failure is you have too many windows open? Too yeah. Windows open. All right. So yeah, he just needs to make this role to stay alive. Basically. <sighs> Can we help? Tell me how you're helping. I mean, I've got a belief about this. I gotta make sure that he stays warm. That means I've been right. 
uh, I mean, I already was talking about how I had, um, like, put better weather, weather stripping on the house and, like, mm -hmm. patched up mm -hmm. the draftiness and stuff. stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's part of it or, but, like, I also want to um, see about, like, uh, keeping him in, like, the living room next to the uh hearth like all bundled up in a chair uh mm -hmm. when he's not sleeping so getting him to at least walk that far every day and having him by the fire is warmer um but then when he like at night in his bed he's, he's just all bundled with uh okay yeah keep him warm that'll help mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. also um remember that i am like Estevan has put himself in your debt, if that's how that sentence works. He he's just like, I owe you, like my belief at the start of this session is I owe you one, and this is not changed at all. You just <laughs> you just done more stuff for me and than a pal. Uh, so I mean, if you want favors, anything. Um, I mean, maybe maybe after you brought the the blanket. She's like, maybe if we had some some thicker blinds, um, curtains, it would keep the cold at bay. Where can I find something nice. like uh, what you've got? What what you've got for him? I went to the tailors. So is is the tailor shop normally? um can be expected to have like a bunch of like stuff made of cloth that isn't actually closed like could i yeah that's where you go could for i it. just expect to buy curtains like if you want yeah. to buy curtains like the tailor shop is just one of the options that i have in yeah mind. you should you should go to the tailor shop okay cool i guess i'll try a general store i guess but they'd probably send you to the tailor shop yeah okay that's that's cool i like that i know in, in games it's usually like this is the character customization that you can you can change your yeah. hair color, yeah. you can change your gender hair, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But for here, it's uh, physical cloth related stuff. Cool. Cool. I like that. Um. I bought the blankets at the tailor shop. Yeah. Uh, they definitely had curtains in their windows. I think they. Yeah. I, I saw some curtains rolled up on a rack. Can I change your gender? Just go to the options menu and click there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess with that information, maybe you should go buy some curtains. Mm hmm. I feel like. I feel like um, just making it more warm, like making it warm, so mechanically, right? Making it warm will give you a non-skill based like situational bonus uh -huh. advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can only get one die from that. Okay. So you should do something else. Okay. That's skill skill related. Sure, 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 them. sure. Let me look at my let me look at my skills. Um uh, or stat related. Ooh, mm, e, uh, no, none of those. I mean, somebody can keep them warm, but only one person keeping them warm is helpful. Um, what if I use my cooking skills to make him some nutritious food? Sure. I can make a roll for that. So you can keep him warm. Eh, you don't need a roll. You're just helping. Okay, cool. Um, which is well, good. Well, I'm learning cooking. I don't actually have the skill of cooking. Oh, then you then you have to make a roll, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'd be a link test. A link test to. Make nutritious food for him. Um, Rachel will help you on your cooking test. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I think she's actually better at cooking than you are. 
Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. If that's true, can I, can I roll this back a step? Can I roll seduction to get her to make <laughs> nutrition food for Uncle Bitch? Sure. Is this like part of the, the relationship thing? You're like, is this your job to make food for Uncle Bish? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you get you get repaid with extra snuggles. Sure, you can do seduction for that. Fair, it's a fair you, deal. You think seduction to keep your uncle alive. That's so interesting. <laughs> I mean, indirectly, indirectly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about you, Esteban? Um, so I've spent all of my Artha getting those blankets. Ugh. And I don't have any cash dice, so it would be difficult for me to actually buy them from the tailor don't shop. don't have to bake skill. I mean, so, I'm just saying that, like, Kelsey's, like, description about how she kept them warm is mm -hmm. in itself that description, without a roll, is in itself enough to get advantage die. But you only mm -hmm. can get one advantage die. So, if you have a skill that would help keep them alive, mm -hmm. then you can help with that skill. See, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm going to make a linked test um, to also help. Can you do multiple link tests for a single skill? That seems to make sense. Different people are doing it, sure. Yeah. Uh, I so think we'll technically, no, we should do a series of link tests, but screw that. Mm -hmm. so what I want to do is I want to take some of those old blankets and fix them up a little bit you want to use mending mm -hmm. just help with mending that's fine that's what I was thinking you don't need to roll do you have okay. mending or are you learning it? I do have mending Okay. Then, yeah, yeah, you, then you're just helping with it and you get a test for it but you don't actually have to roll it okay yeah. great alright so I mean, it's going to be a simple routine test but uh, so why don't we start with your seduction test? Um, what is seduction about? Boo, 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 boo. Um, do, I, do I need to roll a test, or was I just helping with the Oh, well, it's a linked test. If it's a linked test, you have to roll it. Oh, OK, because I, I thought I was just helping with the skill. Because that one I do have the skill for. Oh, no. OK. Because you're convincing someone else to help. Gotcha, gotcha, OK. Uh, let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Just to make sure I have this straight. You're seducing Rachel to do the cooking for you because she's better at cooking than you are. And you're probably going to help her cook. I can't help her cook because I don't have cooking. Oh, okay. I thought... Uh, I, thought I mean, in that case, cooking. I mean, seduction, I'd have to be ruling against her will. Yeah. Which means I think it's actually easier for me to make this cooking test with her help at a double double ob than it is for me to succeed the seduction test. So uh, I'll give you advantage for being married to her. I don't think that's gonna help, really. <laughs> so she has a will for. Yeah. No. Mm, no. Okay. This is a little weird. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it myself, and she's just gonna help me. I think that that's. I think that's a better link test. Um, all they shall help you with two dice for cooking. Oh, she gives me two dice for cooking. I told you she's good at cooking. Dang, I accept. Uh, what's my op, uh, What's my base op for for cooking nutritious, get better food? Yeah, let's take a look at that. Cooking. Uh huh. There it is. Oh. Uh... Mm -hmm. So, you're not just doing a simple meal. I'm going to say it's abs two. Yeah. Abs two. Abs two. Okay. I might, I might possibly actually exceed, succeed at this. It's okay. it's possible. It's possible. No. No. Wait, I got a six. six. Ooh, let's do it. No. no. Yeah, so that makes his abs his uh fort check harder. Oh. I guess two dice. I had to try though. I had to try. Wait, d does doesn't doesn't he get a bonus from? Uh. 
blankets. Two bonus dice from. He gets one from blankets and being warm, mm -hmm. and he gets one from mending. Just about helping. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, he gets two help dice. All right. Yes. Stay alive. Um, no thanks to me. Than, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's better than his abs, so he'll actually get out of bed. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, he helps. He helps like set up for the uh, the festival. You know, you give him some sticks, and he makes stick men and stick woman. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he tells you stories about uh, sailing with old Mister Faust, mm -hmm. and it was scary stories. Like apparently, they had like giant sphere metal spheres that would glow white hot when you put them under water. Let them see where the whales were, and uh, old man Faust, he would like speak to mermaids in the sea to find out where the whales were because the, mm -hmm. the mermaids could hear the whale song. Mm -hmm. It's like, what are these the like, heck? are these like beautiful, sexy mermaids, or are these like horrifying, rip men Sirens. souls out mermaids, or are they like somewhere in between? Same thing. Uh, I mean, <laughs> depending on your lore, uh, there are there's ones where they are the same, uh, ones where they're not the same. And, oh, I know. And and ones where they're neither of those things. He says they're sexy as long as they stay in the water. Gotcha. Um, and and yeah, like, um. Ashlyn wants to to have like a a red ribbon day um, feast and mm -hmm. bust out the fancy wine for uh, like her friends. Well, on the feast day, I mean Esteban's doing it at his house, right? No, we were going to do it at my no, house. No, we were saying that we were going oh, to do it. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that way, Esteban was going to come to my house, but also Esteban's parents were going to come to my house. Sure. Sure. So that way they didn't have to go all the way out to his house past the, the, the hard lands and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But also that maybe they could reconcile? Question mark? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, so you want to bust out the fancy decorations? Mm, yeah, let's In decorate it wine. up. Yep. Is... Running we all has such a large list of skills, but what is the decorating <laughs> skill? Uh, I think we've used mending in the past for decorating. I was going to suggest but... that. Mm -hmm. But it was, that was a little bit different circumstances, I think. Okay. Uh, but if I can't find a skill, that means it's just a stat. I mean, that's fine too, I guess. Mm -hmm. Could be a wise. Decorating wise. Ooh, can you come over and use your festival wise to tell me the the, the proper way to decorate my house? Mm -hmm. I am learning festival wise, but uh, I would be happy to mm -hmm. to you learn. You still know more about festivals than I do with your festival That's true. wise. Mm -hmm. uh, learning festival wise better than not learning festival wise. That's true. So, so you're okay. scheduling quicker. Sure. All right, so is this going to be a perception? Mm -hmm. You can help with festival wise. Heck, yep. Uh, um, What's my op? And what happens if I fail? You have no op. You're helping. No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. He doesn't, oh. He doesn't know it, so it's going to be a, a link test, I guess, to help. Oh, you don't you don't have festival eyes. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. don't test. Um details, huh? Um what happens if I fail? Details. Okay, uh if you fail, I mean the consequences are always uh, the obs goes up. Those really are the consequences. 
friendly test. Um, cool. But if you fail, if you fail, you're going to be playing the same music as the night you almost burnt down the house for your parents. Oh boy. Perfect. It's, there's no flaws here. I have an interesting question. Mm. If I succeed this role, did I ever bur almost burn down the, my parents' house? No, it's up I, to you. I, I think that you did, but you learned from it. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to not having learned from it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nice. So what's my up? Uh, three. Cool. Which doubles uh, to the, six. That doubles to six. We're, uh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I can already tell. Details. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I have a six. All right. Do it. Shush. Do it. Do I it. Have a six. Just, just explode forever. Okay. Three. I think everything else, the advice you give is great, but, uh, Okay, so you're doing perception. Um, I mean, you're just decorating, right? Even kids can do this. So I'm just going to roll straight perception? Yeah, it's, it's going to be... Um, what's that thing? The cumulative? Where more successes you get, the better it is. Oh, okay. Graduated okay. test. Graduated, Graduated test. test. Yeah. But with a base ob of... of, of Two instead of one? Right. Okay. Even kids can do this. Three. All right. Yeah. So let's uh, let's spend a fate on this too while I'm at it because I can. Sure. And I have some fate floating around. And yeah. uh, I like putting fate towards my uh, perception. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so that brings so you me. Do you do a really good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just gonna bring back bad memories. I do a fantastic job. It's not my fault. <laughs> so So Vernon and uh and Bruma and um the mayor shows up. Mm-hmm. Um, and so is Bastion Carmichael. Sure. So mm -hmm. they're all there. He's more or less invited. It's fine. Um, Rachel's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's mostly living with you. Um, her parents were invited too. It's fine. They may not have come though. I don't, I don't I, I want to, uh, work more on her parents. So I'm not going to have them come. That's fine. Um, and I think there's enough people. Mm -hmm. That's a, it's a pretty full house. So you're all there. You know, you're, having a, you're having a good time. Uh, Mr. Carmichael isn't giving too much trouble. Like He's already, you know, convinced everybody he needs to convince. Although he is like, maybe a little bit sad. Mm-hmm. Um, he seems like interested in the uh, in the festivals of the town. He's you know asked questions about them and seems charmed by this uh, this one in particular. Um, but Estevan's parents, like, oh, I said music will be playing, but who's playing the music? Me. Yeah. Okay. I am singing and using my flute. Yes. Uh, so as soon as you start playing the song mm -hmm. from that night. I think I know what this song is like. Um, there's a certain type of music called atonal music, which instead of using only some of the notes, uses literally all of the notes. Mm -hmm. And um, in history, a lot of composers didn't like this kind of music because when you play like 
these notes together, they like make like a kind of like shaky rattling noise. And the way that we as modern people recognize it is like, it's like ugly, slow carnival music almost. And it sure. sounds kind of gross. Yeah. And I think I'm playing that on a flute. So it sounds like a little like, and it just has weird notes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're playing this song, yeah. and your mother looks upset, and she mm -hmm. whispers, whispers to your father something, and he puts down his, mm -hmm. his bottle of wine. And, and then um, I maybe do, like, the awkward thing of I stop playing that song. Yeah, like, it, it definitely, like, dampens the, the mood of everybody. Like, I think the mayor and Uncle Bish are, like, still talking animate animatedly because they're not really paying attention to anything else but uh everyone else notices this which is just an awkward silence mm -hmm. okay i have i think i'd like to do um can i play a different song <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what kind of song would you like to play? Uh, maybe on my flute, I am playing like the flute version of um one of my advertising songs. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it advertising something for the holidays? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's advertising candles so that you can have the the light of a candle that's normally like in the town square in your home. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll give you advantage for that. Mm -hmm. uh, obstacle is the will of the listener. Um... I'm trying to play it on the flute to make it like not too similar to when I was just like singing it. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, can't fork anything because I'm still learning flute. What's the will of the listener? Just so making sure I didn't already sure say thing. it. I believe it's of three. Okay. Yeah. Of three. Nice. Okay. But this time I have two sixes. Two sixes. That, that's something. That's not nothing. <laughs> that's not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Luck yeah. is not not with you tonight. So uh, of that fate. So eventually like um I think your parents start arguing about something. Um I think they're arguing about whether or not. Oh, this song also brings back memories because it's it's the song I would sing when I would go around town peddling. So mm -hmm. like I, I sing it at home every day. And this is the exact period of time where I'm like, right. I don't want to take care of grandma and grandpa. Bang, <laughs> fire, bullshit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm arguing about whether or not you started the fire. Um, I think like there's this argument about, you know, did you, were you playing with the candles or did you just make a mess and the mess started on fire? Uh, either way, it's, it's your fault. Um, I would decide. really like to, um, like, step in and, and like, give a toast to the new year or anything <laughs> that is not fighting about my friend sure uh uh like i i like come in and like like clink something against my glass and i'm like thank you all for joining me this year i've uh, i've never had a uh 
Red Ribbon Festival before, and uh, I, I hope that my feast was up to your expectations, and these, this wine will uh, see us merrily through the night um, to, a, to a new dawn. Um, kind of lift up and do a do a toast. Actually, hold on okay. a second. I have a, a terrible, terrible idea. I think I'm in the word it is. Do you, you have an idea what my terrible idea is? Yeah, but I want to hear you say it first. Uh, do you see me looking through the book right now? <laughs> no, it's not on screen. I mean, it's not on screen, but... Uh... You can know so. Hold on, I I can I can look this up. Um, uh, nope, nope. Maybe. Here we go. Um, no. Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so my terrible, horrible idea is that I, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I get some some faith magic going on. Ooh. And um, try to like, like inspire, inspire them to. Like, it's it's Christmas and we love each other. Damn it, <laughs> you know. Sure. Um, baby Jesus, except uh, not, except fantasy stuff. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. fantasy fantasy baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Um. Oh shit! One of my beliefs was supposed to be about my faith, and I I changed it. Oh shit! Well, no, I mean it is still about my faith. About the it, it just doesn't specify it, but it still is about the hotels ruining Stockchester and okay. the harp right. for the harvest goddess. Are I you, specifically you, my... mentioned that when it came up. Yeah, but I'm sorry, what? You did okay. Um, so, hmm, let's see, something that, uh, I guess a boon, and, like, a boon to give my, uh, persuasion open-ended until the end of the scene sure um because i i want to i don't even have persuasions uh but if i take if i make one one will want it then i will um uh, technically it makes an ability open-ended mm -hmm. so hmm. anyway um legit uh yeah so so i think that'll work so basically i'm going to um uh have a little a little harvest goddess uh prayer session and and be like okay. you know uh the harvest goddess has blessed this land with uh all the bounty as we uh till it as she sees fit she truly knows uh, what is best to grow upon each of these fields. And with her guidance, we are able to see our, our true selves. Um, she's, she's spoken through me in the past, and it's a, an honor 
and responsibility. And uh, mm. I, I hope you all can see what I mean that with that. And I'm going to roll me some faith. It all is right. uh, obtuse. If you fail, you're going to have an unexpected visitor. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. I did it. Curse you when you're falling. <laughs> All right. Uh, great. So, okay. I would like to persuade Esteban's parents that he's not actually the fuck up that they think he is. Okay. Um. Uh, if you fail. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's going to be a like a physical fight. <laughs> Can I help by staying out of this? <laughs> I can help with inconspicuous shit. All right. Yes, you can help with inconspicuous. Uh, brilliant. I'll take it. Because skills can help stats, but stats can't help skills. Yeah. Okay. And I have that skill. Mm-hmm. I'm not learning it. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning inconspicuous, but I know conspicuous, but that's fine. Um, mm-hmm. Great. Uh, I don't have any Artha to spend on this. What's my ob? Still obs three. Oh, boy. All right. I automatically get to reroll any sixes. Mm hmm. Which means if you spend faith, then you get to re-roll a traitor. Shrek. Okay. It's not There's worth a... it. It's not It's not worth it. But the good news is I learned from my mistakes, and I now I now know how persuasion works. And yeah. <laughs> spoilers, it's not like this. <laughs> All right. Um, Yay. All right. So, yeah, they just the start arguing, get louder and louder. Um, GTF, get out of my house. They're like, um, uh, I think they, the the parents struggle with each other a little bit. Does anybody get in their way? I mean, I'm gonna kick them out of my house. Like, you can't do that in here. Like, you can't, you can't fight in my house. Okay, uh, uh, you can kick them out of your I'm, house. You, you're, but they're gonna break stuff along the way. You're gonna need to. Please no, please don't break any. Uh, that's glass. I I don't have a lot of. Uh, can I try to stop them from doing that? Yeah, you want to try and kick them out before you break anything? Yeah, yeah. Right, you can't do it socially. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Uh. I mean, I'm kind of strong. Um. Damn, it's too bad that my magical javelin is back in the Faust Manor again. Did you never go get it? No, we got it, and then it got lost again. Uh-oh. That was the, that was the problem. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna try to physically push them outside. Just push them outside my house. Just right, you want to use a uh, power? Okay. Push mm-hmm. physically. Well, the idea is that they get out faster. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, Should I help with that? Do you think? Yeah, I think their average power is three. I mean, they, they're farmers. They're not weak. I mean, do you want to help with that? I feel like they're the ones who are not being responsible in this case. So it makes me almost look more responsible to like, cause now they're the ones breaking things and I'm the one who's not breaking things. Mm-hmm. Cause they're gonna be real objective about this later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all right, well, with that. Your house, I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. <laughs> okay. I think. All right. Brilliant. So um, I'm going to go ahead and roll this. 
with okay. a plus one from Esteban's help. Oof. Okay. Oh, my okay. God. No. So, wow. yeah, I think they uh, strike your house on fire and then they get kicked out. Uh, sh well, we're gonna put the house out. Mm -hmm. First, let me see if that was a difficult test. <laughs> <laughs> What's your power? Uh, my power is four. No, it wasn't that. Okay. Wait, maybe it was. I gotta double check. Cause, cause some of them are like, it's either this one or the one under, and I sometimes have not. I have it right. What happened to my little that wait there it is okay uh t -t 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 you're uh yeah it is difficult you're right take it good job delicious congrats um, <laughs> so the stakes aren't your house building down no. burning down but no. it's gonna be damaged i know I'm but sure. uncle bish can yeah. i can i try to put it out faster yeah how you want to put it out uh blah, 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 blah. You shouldn't use the wine as flammable. No, that's a bad idea. Um, what if... What... What if... Um... So there are I probably several glasses of water on the circles? table. Like, I mean, how... No, that wouldn't work. Never mind. That was dumb. Uh, can I? Uh, can I? I don't even know how I put out a fire. Like, I don't. I guess just maybe like ag agility to just be quicker about it. So what are you physically mm -hmm. doing? smothering it with a tablecloth okay. i was thinking there are oh, no. several glasses on the table as well because everybody's mm. got a glass of water a glass of so... water a glass of wine mm -hmm. all right um dump gravy sure. on it. it's great yeah so yeah, um, you just want to use your s speed. Yeah, it's fine. Um, would it be speed or would it be agility? I always get what those two or four mixed up. So you said you wanted to be fast about it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I feel like um, speed makes sense because sure. like it's not too hard to aim like a glass of water at like a spot of fire. Sure. 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 It's more like. Getting faster than the fire and keeping it. You, you want to put out before it gets too big to put out with a tablecloth. <laughs> right, exactly. Yep. To put out uh, with a tablecloth and a couple glasses of water. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So Esteban helping. Yep. Okay. Okay. With my speed. Is any is anybody else helping? Like maybe Rachel. Yeah, Rachel will help. Uh, she's going to help by clearing things away from the fire that could be flammable. Brilliant. And let's see here. Yeah, Bastion is going to help by. Uh... Yeah, he's going to get the stew and he's going to like pour it on the fire. Sure. Uh, so you get uh, three helping dice. Nice. What's my um, own? Let's see here. This is not something something that anybody could do. Um, I feel like it's risky, but it's not that risky. Um, you can accomplish it. Well, I mean, fires are just things that happen, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say it's abs, too. Okay. But, but if you fail, uh, it's going to damage, like, uh, the kitchen. Okay. I think it'll be contained to the kitchen. Okay. 
I did what? it. Ho- hold did on. It. All three of my successes are sixes. Let me just roll this. I'm Okay. I can't not. I can't mm-hmm. not. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, gee. So that's three more successes. Uh, so with my ridiculously over success of putting out this fire, um, I want to see if I can get like an extra effect of uh, Bastion being less willing to sell uh, to 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 them <laughs> because they were acting like spoiled children and they lit my house on fire. Sure, I think you can even save the stew. Yes. Um, he's like he's like about to pour it on the, on that, and it's like, oh, we don't need to. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I think it talks to him a bit, and he's like, well, if they're as accident prone as their son, nah, I'm sorry, Esteban, <laughs> but I've heard some stories. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, Maybe I I don't want to rent from them, but you know once once they're off the property, it should be fine. But I certainly don't want to have any uh, business dealings with them afterwards. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like money, money is money. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of the the end of that scene, and it's also the end of our time. Unless there was anything yeah, else we so. wanted to add, real quick before we wrapped uh, up here. Guys, following like, yep, following the mysterious guest. That's it. I didn't really want the house to burn down, but I wanted to have a mysterious guest. I just like mysterious guests. Yeah, uh, we had to we had to do Arthur too, don't we? Uh, that'd be nice. Yeah, that's so true. Let's uh, yeah. let's speed speedy through that then. Yeah. Uh, I went after all of my beliefs, and I think they brought the story mm-hmm. places. Um, yeah, your personas. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's all persona. Um, mm-hmm. my instinct to go up on that cliff. I don't know. You were kind of you were kind of baiting me with it, but did bring it in kind of an interesting direction. Um, it oh, gave yeah. me a real opportunity for me to to like pursue my other belief uh no it was good i I really uh uh, it's great the character sheet has now been updated with uh arthur triggers um oh how's that work uh it's on the scats and skills page and spending arthur is a drop down and earning arthur is a drop down um so um did i play any of my instincts to make life difficult no uh, trait sends the story in an interesting direction. Um, what are my traits here? Opportunist, tenacious, faithful, maybe. I don't know. I tried. Um, Curse of the Night. Oh, mm-hmm. I did. I did go down that night eyes path. Um, yeah, you tried to push that, so you can get fate from that. Okay. I think you should get fate from picking wildflowers and berries too. Okay. I did bait you with that, but mm-hmm. but I followed the bait, and that made my life difficult. Yeah, it did. Uh, so three fates, uh, and then three persona. Uh, okay. Right skill, right time. I don't think either one of us had a skill that was just absolutely necessary. No. Yeah, and no. We rolled a lot of stats this session. Yeah, Which we, isn't a bad thing. We did. We sure did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's me. I think that's all my stuff. Sure. Uh, looking at Esteban's bits. I think I get Persona for all that. I think so too. Um, you get. I don't I think get... smoking opium took. Um, actually, made my life much more difficult. No, mm. I didn't tell a weird story to uh, Bastion. No, I didn't, you didn't, and that haunted me. Mm. Yeah, I was like, "Dang, I should have done that." Yeah, I was kind of expecting you to do that, but uh, 
I, I completely forgot about it. Well, I feel like your dad kind of took over the tell weird stories portion there. And so you kind of were mm-hmm. left out. Mm-hmm. So, But before when we met him on the cliff. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I forgot you were there, too. <laughs> You're so quiet. Uh, I was. You're definitely a bad influence on your parents. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That came up a lot. And I'll give you the option to remove Curse of the Night from your character sheet. I think I am because I I went through that operation. So and I was sure. just like, make me well. And then now the... Mm-hmm. the I'm embracing it and you're, you just got it rid of it. It's fine. But now yep. I know how to get rid of it if I need to, probably. That's good. Unless mm-hmm. it's progressed too far. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think Esteban has like a dream about a cub in the cold. And then it mm-hmm. just dies in the, in the snow. Oh. No. I mean, it was an evil night wolf. But, I mean, sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. But puppies died. Um, cool. Uh, I was about to say we need to do crew XP, but that's that's Blades. <laughs> um, that's the crew XP? Um, <laughs> uh, no, were you great. guys awful to each other? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we weren't really. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's fine. Uh, cool. <laughs> so right. uh, uh, let's do some fun. quick, quick outros for everybody. Uh, Golden, why don't you start? Hey, I'm Golden H. I will always use every idea you give me <laughs> because that's called reincorporation. Perfect. Well, that was easy, Adam. Hi, I'm Adam. I make a game about reality TV stars and the ultra tours that watch them. It's a really fun game, and it's giving me hell because I don't know how to, how uh, web design works. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, and then Kelsa, this is my channel. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and on YouTube uh, slash Kelsa Delphi, which is probably where you're watching this video right now. If not, please tweet at me at kelsa and tell me where else you possibly found my video because i would love to know um (laughs) uh, you can also join my discord which there is a link uh below here in twitch and uh also various other places such as that you can find if you it's not that hard um if you if you're really having that much trouble tweet at me at kelsa on twitter um you can also follow me on Instagram where I post pictures of my knitting projects, my cats, and random bugs that I find. Um, and people on roller skates. And also people on roller skates. Mostly my lady, but that's mm-hmm. because she's pretty badass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's everything. Good night, everybody. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Good night.